What's up, YouTube? Welcome back to Breaking Truckers. That's all of a sudden at age, what, 60? He's just gonna break bad? DSX back in the building once again to come back with his brand of reactions. This young lady called him out on a TikTok. He is here to respond. No more wasting time. Let's get it. Hold on. You, you know I had to bring you back in, right? <laughs> you, you you know you know I had to bring you back in. <laughs> DSX is back in the building, <laughs> bro. I, I I I need you to uh, I I need your I need your reaction, bro. I, I I need to hear it. Hold on. Hold on. This video right here, and you listen. When I was training, uh, my my trainer had a CB, and this is what you would listen to. But it wasn't as bad. It's gotten worse. Um, just because you've been driving a, a, a truck since you came out your mama, because I guess you've been just how long you've been driving. Um, you got to disrespect younger drivers. You got to disrespect female drivers. I met three in a row, 22 years, 32 years, and 26 year women drivers. Okay? So I don't get that part. And then what was the wig and the eyelashes about? People have cancer. A lot of us have alopecia. I had that when my son was in a coma. So I had alopecia. You know, and all grew back now. I mean, thick as hell. But, you know, people have problems. And a lot of women wear wigs because if we walk around bald head, you talk about us. So you're going to talk about us regardless. I mean, like, it's so disrespectful. Old school, I don't even want to call y'all old school anymore because you're so disrespectful. You're just a bunch of old farts. <laughs> Disrespectful as hell, old fart. <laughs> came it's called us old school. We old fart. Came came out came out your mama with the diesel in your blood, bro. What what uh? Yo, what's what's going on in this video, violence. my guy? Like I mean, she chose violence. Yeah, she sure did. But yes. I responded. I responded, but I responded in mute because she blocked the stitch. Because had she not blocked the stitch, she would get exactly what the fuck I'm about to say right now. Go ahead, bro. The floor is yours. <laughs> Let me explain something to you. She, who needs help, okay? I, 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 I'm going to just say she needs help. Hold on a second. What the hell? She needs help. She's looking for attention. Okay. I, I waited to, I waited. Yes. We paid homage to the driver who went off the road and she, she crashed. We were talking about the hood rats with the eyelashes and the wigs, the new lot lizards of trucking. That's what we were talking about. She didn't get the whole conversation because I wasn't recording as the whole entire, because I would have missed where exactly what the accident was. But we were talking about the new lot lizards, which are the hood rats who are no longer strippers, no longer bar hoppers, no longer mothers or wives or anything like that. They're out here in the trucks with the eyelashes and the wigs on, making videos showing how they do this goofy shit like they were on their way to the club to trap. That's what we were talking about. She's mad because nobody wants her. Now, respectfully to her, you know, with the, you know, with the, uh, with the cancer and the, uh, the al the alopecia. Let me let me make sure I pronounce that right. Uh, much respect, much respect to her in that regards because you know majority. When women, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna do it. Well, I'm not gonna do it. Well, I'm I, not gonna let you do it. No, nope, I'm gonna cut I, you I, off. I'm uh, gonna tell you why. Uh, 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 no, nope, no, nope, no, sir. I'm not gonna do it. No, I'm sir. Not do it. No, sir. Dude, I gotta give the respect. Think, hold on, hold on, hold on. I'm gonna let you give the respect. Well, hold on. Let me point that out. Being that you can tell she's attention seeking because she said, and I quote. I had alopecia while my son was in a coma. The two don't even go together. Well, if that's not a thirst trap, attention seeking individual, I had I had alopecia while my son was in a coma, but my hair grew back nice and thick now. 
Okay, well, the the nice. Oh, okay, the okay, time. the little, yes, the little. A lot of us have argue alopecia. I had that when my son was in a coma, so I had alopecia. You know, and all grew back now. I mean, thick as hell. But little, the little bit at the end, maybe. But but when her son, you know, that was a life altering situation, and it had an effect on her and and her hair. So she had alopecia alopecia while her son was in the coma but the little bit afterwards yes she probably could have could have kept that part but still respectfully you know some women you know with the cancer and the alopecia but they, we they wasn't still talking about that we was talking about the hood rats right and now the ones that wear the wigs and the eyelashes we were talking about the hood rat truckers she want to play captain save a hoe so when she do see my video and she read my comment, I pray she unstitch me because I want I want to go live with her. And I'm not going to go live with her to embarrass her. Mm, okay. Because she's only like in her, she's only like in her 40s or maybe her early 50s. I was, yeah, I, I, that's what I thought she was in her early 50s. And only because her face tells it. But if you look at her body and her hair, it doesn't show that. She shows you know, that she is my mother and gave birth to me in a diesel. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my God. That. Okay, now I just had to make sure you were still alive. <laughs> now, my thing, I, I respect the sister for she coming and trying to save her other sisters and, you know, the young ones, but you can't save them. You know why? Because they bring it on themselves. They come mm. out here, they the hood rats from their hood, that's no longer wanted in their hoods. So they jumped on the bandwagon of social media trucks. Mm. They're not doing it for their job. They're not doing it for the bag anymore. They're doing it because they're not wanted where they come from no more. And this is their way out. Hopefully they'll find somebody who will want them, which nobody's going to want them. Because if you look like that up top, our Lord Jesus, I know the roast beef from Harvey's is down low. Oh, my God. This guy. Yeah. Yeah, this guy. Yeah, you, you, she she chose Violet. She should have left me alone. She should have <laughs> left me alone. See, I, I was going to be nice. I'm not going to be disrespectful because right. that's not what I do for the women. Right. I'm not disrespectful to women. First of all, lady, I hope you listen to this podcast. I went through stage four cancer in hospice. Hospice means you're leaving. You're checking out. No more. Mm -hmm. Guess what? I in the hospice and I'm here now. Okay. That's what's up. You talk about all oh, these women can have cancer. I went through stage four, lady. I didn't have no hair and all that stuff, but I still went to work and grinded it out. And the only reason why I ended up in hospice is because my cells wasn't fighting no more and they thought my body was gonna shut down. But by the grace of God that came down with that diesel fuel in that fifteen forty Pump me right back up, and here I am behind the wheel still getting it. That's what's up, because, man. Yes, diesel runs through my blood. Yeah, my mama birthed another trucker. Yes, she did. And All right. Had, my mama didn't wear no wigs. So, no, no, no. That lady said my mama wore wigs. There was plenty of them in the box. No, not in my house. You can look at the texture of my hair and see I ain't got one of them kind of mamas. Ain't you from, she said she was from Arkansas on a cotton field? I thought that she was from. the whole entire look. Well, I, I thought she was out of. Alabama, but I have a Arkansas. I have another one. Corn on a I yeah yeah. I I have another one. I'm not sure if you seen. I'm I'm not sure if you seen this one, but this young lady. But this young lady says that uh that trucking hits different. Reality. To come and like shed some light on how the fuck I was feeling for the last few days. I love truck driving, don't get me wrong. But the sacrifice that we have to fucking do is it for the last few weeks it's been a bit much to me. Like I got a four year old daughter, <laughs> so I just was seeing my baby, you know, this week. I did not want no fucking... I quit in my head like seven fucking times before I came back on this truck. This morning, I just had to pray, you know, 
Because I got bigger goals than just to be driving for a fucking company. No offense. I, I, I fuck with this company and I like it, but I know I could be making my own fucking money. Mm. By the way, she's eating, by the way, so you got to give her a minute. <laughs> I just... This sacrifice is huge. I ain't gonna lie. Risking our life on this motherfucking road, you know. But it's gonna get cold. It's gonna be snowing. Baby, I want to go home. <laughs> What do you got to say, bro? Because see, what I what I had what I had to say, I, I, I said that truck, I said that trucking isn't for everybody, especially for women that got kids. But that's my opinion. But well, I'm sure you, all, I'm sure you have all, an opinion on it. What's what's up? She she's one hundred percent right. You know, she's sacrificing her life to be out here when she could be at a job making the same amount of money. Because the truth be told, she ain't making no more money than she would be if she's working for Walmart or some somewhere where she could be home being a mother to her four year old. Mm. She ain't making that much more money. They can stop the cap. Stop the cap. Stop the cap. Not making that much money. Stop the cap. This is getting real. They're not making that much money. They're not making this. Twenty three hundred and twenty five hundred and thirty thirty one hundred dollar a week check. They're not doing it. Stop it. Stop. Stop the cap. If you're, you're 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 coming home with this seven fifty after taxes and your advances and all that stuff. Some of you might be making a thousand after your advances and your your uh, uh bullshit. Stop it. Stop making people think y'all out here making twenty three hundred dollars a week. You're not. And if you are, show me six weeks of pay stubs. Mm. You you want proof? Show me. Yeah, yeah. You, you have to show me because I can do it. I, I'll show you. I, I'll show you consistently, back to back, week after week for three months mm. of the slow period of trucking. Mm. So show me, show me this. Uh, uh, show me. Just show me in private if you want to. You can show me in private. But show me. Five weeks of consistency of just thirteen hundred dollars. I'll drop it down to thirteen. Show me five weeks, five weeks of consistency of thirteen hundred, not eleven ninety five, not fourteen oh five, thirteen hundred. Just show me consistency of that week. five weeks. You say five weeks at thirteen hundred. Yeah, just show me five straight weeks. Because y'all say y'all making this twenty three a week. 18 a week, show me. Because you're not doing it. First of all, first of all, y'all can't even count the days a week anymore. That's how fucked up and dumb y'all are now. The seven days in the week. Okay? Right. You're driving three of them seven. Okay. So you're not making no money the three that you're driving. See, when I leave home, if when I turn my 24 hours, I'm on a new paycheck. When I leave here and I get to Charlotte, that load is done. That's in 10 hours. I'm reloading, mm. coming back 10 hours. That's a whole nother pay. Give you a ballpark figure. If I leave Jersey with a minimum $1,800 to go to Charlotte. When I leave Charlotte, a minimum of 18 coming back. Do the math. 8 and 8 is 16. Carry the 1. That's mm -hmm. uh, 3,600. In 10 hours, 10 hours, that's 20 hours, you're still driving, fucker. Mm. At 70 cents a mile. I spent 1,000 in fuel. So let's take 1,000 out of my 36. I spent a... Uh, 260 in tolls. So deduct that. I spent 40 on some pussy. <laughs> <laughs> Had to throw that in there. <laughs> yeah, no way. Who's the king of the $40? Had okay. to throw had to throw that in there. 
<laughs> so you so you already I down was... you already down a thousand forty. <laughs> okay. So what's up? What is the truck left with? I split the difference. So I was making thirty six, split the difference, right? Mm -hmm. so I, I got sixteen. I got sixteen. So y'all telling me y'all making more? Get the fuck out of here. Well, I did that in 20 hours. Well, we as didn't even, we didn't even go the other five days. Well, we talking in 20 hours, I did that. Well, we know that uh, the sacrifices out here are real. DSX, man, yes, thank you very much. Are real. Thank you very much. Until next time, bro, there will be a next time, probably sooner than you think. Yes, it will. Yes, it will. <laughs> I'll holler at you later, bro. Be safe. Big cheese got it locked. Boy. Won't you let me all night?